Quick warning, please don't try this at home. Thank you. So there was a pretty big announcement the other week. We are about to get a Lord of the Rings anime. I saw that and I was so excited. I went back and I started re-watching all of the original movies. And I got to the second movie where the Urukai just kidnapped two of the hobbits. And then the three other dudes decide to just chase after them. And the thing is that they didn't walk, okay? They didn't ride horses. They just straight up sprinted like the entire time. I sat through a whole minute of just running B-roll of them sprinting over mountains until Gimli says that they've been at it for three days. Like, why is no one talking about this? They're wearing this armor. How is that even possible? Apparently, they ran a total of 135 miles. Well, the first thing is, is they didn't run it straight. It is over the course of three days, but they did rest every night in the books. The movies, though, they're full on running. I know people have run ultra marathons. People have run 100 miles. But usually when they do that, they are doing it in the best running gear possible. They're in aerodynamic, tight clothes and they've trained for it a lot. To just go from a battle to a full run is not something any normal person could do. <laughs> I know that Gimli was wearing full-on male armor. I think the other two didn't really wear armor. Even when they do wear armor, they never wear helmets. Is that an actual practical choice? Obviously, there's like a trade-off when you're wearing armor. It's heavy, it's cumbersome. If you're wearing a helmet, it restricts your field of view. It makes it kind of difficult to navigate in. It makes it difficult to do anything in. It makes it way more difficult and a lot slower to like use a sword in. I will be very impressed to see if you can manage to run in all of that. And now I gotta just see for myself. How does armor really affect your physical abilities? You would think that armor is hard to find, but Amazon is a thing now, so... There you go. Right off the bat, you can see that it's full of holes. It won't block the sun, and it's like 90 plus degrees outside, so I'm gonna wear this long compression gear underneath, and then I couldn't put on the armor without almost ripping out my hair, so I got this cooling skull cap, so now I'm basically frozen. Let's do a quick weigh-in just to see what we're dealing with. I'll go without the armor, and then with it, and then just subtract. This is about 20 pounds total, which doesn't sound too bad, but it feels so much worse than that when I'm moving. Bro, I feel like a badly customized human in an Elder Scrolls game. So. I'm gonna take this through a full body strength training split, <laughs> that's a mouthful, over the next few days and do some cardio too, just to simulate the kind of fatigue that the characters probably went through. And then at the end, I'm gonna run a 5K while wearing this armor and we'll see what happens. All right, we're starting with lower body. I put on this medieval leather belt to hold the chains a bit and give a little back support. Really, it just looks cool. Deadlifts have been around since ancient Greece. Pretty straightforward. Pick thing up, put it down. Immediately, I get now why they went without helmets sometimes. All right, the shirt felt pretty bad, but the head thing was fucking terrible. I was jerking my head up against the weight, which completely throws off the lift. Your head's pretty far from your center of gravity, so every time I tilted my head at all, it felt like the coif was dragging me to the floor. Now, the weight didn't feel too weird during the squats, because you stay pretty upright, but I realized that chains aren't fabric, so they don't stretch. So at the bottom of the squat or any athletic movement, they kind of just lock up and you get stuck there, especially around the hips. The fatigue really hit me during the lunges. I was almost falling over and I was out of breath, but I powered through to my next rest, and then it really hit me. There are no rests during combat. Like, in a battle, there are no rounds. You have to keep going until one side's completely wiped out. And if you think about how large these armies were in the movies, they were probably at it for a really long time, and high intensity the entire time. I finished up with some one-leg Romanian deadlifts and some standing calf raises. It was, like, impossible to balance with the armor on, but I made it through and lived to fight another day. Today we're doing push day, going on a hike, and then testing out a run. At one point in the movie, Gimli literally bench pressed two wargs and an orc at the same time. So I guess you gotta train for that. Then you gotta build those delts so you can boost people up onto walls, ledges, or giant elephant things. These felt okay, but I couldn't really lock out at the top. Dips, honestly, I give this a 10 out of 10. It was a really smooth distribution of weight, but it was super hard, especially for three sets. Then I found out that lying down is terrible because it feels like something's sitting on you and pinning you down. Even worse, if something gets around your neck. So if you trip me during a battle, I'll look like this. <laughs> We're gonna finish off with some lateral raises and then take this bad boy out for a spin. I'm gonna hike because I haven't unlocked fast travel yet. Honestly, this was super enjoyable. It felt as cool as it looks during movies. Only problem is that past 20 to 30 minutes in, I would not be able to hold a conversation. <sighs> So to me, the dialogue in movies is easily the least believable part. 
Next, I tried running, and right away I found out that chains bounce up and down. So it's actually a lot worse than just carrying 20 pounds of weight. The actual force is greater than that every time you push off and land on each leg. My lower body still felt destroyed from yesterday, so I called it quits after about a mile or so. But I am getting the hang of this armor, and hopefully I can pull off a full run tomorrow. Day three is a pull workout and the 5K. If for some reason I'm hanging off a ledge in armor, it's pretty much game over. I hit failure right on the first set, and after three failed sets, I tried switching up the grip. I got in one full set and then just failed the next one. Then we're doing rows, you know, for those times where you stand over a fallen teammate, say something corny, and then pull them back up. We'll do some face pulls, cause people in movies have good posture. And then we'll finish off with some bicep curl variations. Uh, no purpose, just aesthetics. I took a little break and now we do the run. I'm aiming for a 5K here and I made it about a block away and I realized I could not deal with those chains around the neck. So I strapped them down with this neck gaiter and the whole thing looks even cooler now. I'm not really a serious trained runner. So I realized like half a mile to a mile in, probably shouldn't just wing it for a video. I was really feeling it in my shins, my knees, and my feet. So I took a lot of walking breaks and got to the halfway point about 30 minutes in. And I was like, huh, I'm still alive. That was great. So I thought I'd just keep running. I was running at a bunch of different paces, but I think I averaged at like 10 and a half minutes per mile. And I looked it up online afterwards. Apparently it's not that great, but you know what? You try it with armor. I finally took a walking break and found out it's only been two minutes. Like what? At some point I decided, you know, the pain's not getting that much worse. I broke through some kind of mental wall. I got over the whole armor thing and I made it to 5K in just under 48 minutes. I was so dead, I couldn't even pull the chainmail up over my head to get it off. I had to go into this puppy dog pose. I actually surprised myself. Like all those things are actually doable in armor. It's just miserable. It actually messed up my sleep quality at night and everything from my hips downward just turned into jello. But I guess that's cause I'm at like a average person's level of fitness. I guess if you do train in the armor or you're a runner, you'll probably do a lot better. But even still running in armor is so much more taxing that I guess if you were in an army and you had to charge at another army, other things being equal, you're probably gonna lose. But yeah, that's just my hypothesis. Maybe we'll test that in another video. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.